Why do you still wear glasses if you're Jesus? Why can't you heal yourself? Well, so far, if you look at my life, I've healed many things already inside of myself that uh, in this process of becoming one with God. As you progress towards God, the different physical uh, things that you have wrong with your body eventually repair. At the moment, though, I do have a number of uh, physical ailments that are related to my lack of worth, my lack of self-worth, and my uh, inability to see the future accurately. And these particular um, emotional difficulties that I'm working my way through um, cause me to have physical problems. So I definitely have a physical problem with my eyesight. I also have a physical problem in my lower stomach in terms of uh, the different pain that I have in that area of my body. And these are indications that they're God's feedback system telling me what work I still need to do in order to become at one with God. Now, as I work through these emotional issues, following this path that I've described to many hundreds of people or thousands of people during these teachings, I personally must also do the same thing, again, if I wish to become at one with God. Once I go through that process, then I will be completely healed myself. Therefore, I will no longer need glasses and I will no longer have physical ailments in my body and I'll have the ability, in fact, to live forever on the earth if I so chose. So that's what happens when you become at one with God. In the first century, once I became at one with God, I knew that I could potentially live forever on earth if nobody murdered me, or that I could potentially do so. Unfortunately, three and a half years later, people were so outraged by what I was teaching that uh, they murdered me, and so I did not survive that period of time. But uh, I fully expect to be able to live as long as I desire to live once I become at one with God, if that process should ever become, uh, come about through my desire. But it, it is completely dependent upon my exercising my desire in harmony with God's laws for me to become at one with God. And it is completely dependent uh, upon that as whether I get healed or not personally. Of course, before I heal uh, myself personally, I, it's impossible for me to heal anybody else. And so anybody who expects me to heal them currently it has an unrealistic expectation of myself because they don't understand the process in which a person becomes at one with God and therefore the process through which a person goes before they can heal other people properly, permanently.